Hi, this is Ryan Williams, head physical preparation coach of Waynesburg Football. Today I'm going to go over the class two sequencing. Now with class two, there's definitely a difference between our line, combo, skill, and quarterback groupings. Um, as you can see, I'm going to start off going over, this is the combo two grouping. So combo, in terms of their um, general abilities or qualities with their jumps, their sprinting, and their throws, each one of these is going to have a different um, sequence, whether if you are a lineman, a combo um, position, or a skill position. So with this, with the combo specifically, you will go from jumps to sprints to throws, whereas if you are a lineman, you will go from throws to jumps to sprints. And that is because um, each position requires a different set of dynamics, as I alluded to in the beginning of a manual, um, especially with, um, that's, it was written in the Rooks, but all of you have access to it on the S drive. I'm explaining that each position has different, again, dynamics or distances and forces and things of the like that they must be able to um, perform for their position. So thus, linemen need to be a little more strength orientated. Sprinting is not going to be important for them, whereas a skill player, sprinting is very important because they have to cover a large amount of distance with very little uh, body contact um, from another position after the first five yards. Um, so also, I'm going to briefly go over your sequencing. Um, most of the class two guys should be fairly familiar and be able to read this. So we always go through a warm up, then the throws to jumps or sprints, depending on again what position you have. As you can see with the line, it's always going to be throws, jumps, the sprints. Whereas if we go to the combo, it will always be jumps to sprints to throw. So make sure whatever manual you have that you go ahead and take account of this. The, war, the um, sequence within the manual goes from warm ups to the field, which encompasses the CNS high, the CNS low, which is CNS high is jumps, throws, and sprints, and CNS low is tempo, med ball, extensive med ball, and abs. Then the last thing you will do in a workout itself will be the weights, okay? So make sure you are reading your manual. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below. Thank you.